first explosion. <laughs> Rain and cool. He doesn't like it. Did you hear what I said? Oh. <laughs> I was coming to knock. Let me in. And I'm licking it. <laughs> Enjoy your Fortnite. Sub to PewDiePie. Someone's excited. <laughs> everybody from our last day here in Mexico we are in the major city of Monterey and today marks day one of our journey home excuse me boys I'm just trying to film a clip here sorry guys <laughs> I'm super excited for a lot of things about leaving but I'm also God, yeah I bloody love it here it's been an amazing three and a half months it's been incredible and yeah I think when people ask me like what the worst part of travel is my heart goes to like, you're away from family and friends. So yesterday was Easter. I Skyped my family and they said that on next Sunday, they're doing another makeshift Easter with a whole bunch more of the family. So our goal is to make it home and kind of surprise them for that. So that's in seven days. Can we do it? And we've got two days booked in San Antonio. That's like... That's aggressive. So today's goal is to get from Monterey, Mexico to San Antonio, Texas. Click it. Oh, just quickly. In order to do that long drive, we've done two things this morning. We first took Rojo to a dog park where he made some new friends and released some energy, let's call it. So relieved that there's another dog here and especially a blue healer. So they've been going at it for at least 20 minutes. It's gonna make our drive much more enjoyable. And secondly, we came to the vet this morning to get all of the paperwork sorted for Ro. We've never crossed a border with a dog, let alone an imported dog, a Mexican dog into the state. So fingers crossed we have all the paperwork we need. Apparently you do need to have your rabies shot 30 days before you go into the States. So we're gonna give him a healthy tip. He's gonna post date it to the right date. And then we should be good. It depends on the person you get at the border. Sorry, Kareem, I'm just updating my video. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, cheaper than... For sure. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's great. We appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. He knows now all of a sudden. You never, you never freak out. We're still not even sure 100%, but... Vamos. Let's go. Gracias, amigo. Okay, hopefully that's the last time we fill up fuel in Mexico for this year. I don't know if you can see to my left. We still need to go back to get our $500 deposit back. Yeah, that's the border. Whoa. But the last time, we, I've been here twice, and it's never even piled up more than under the bridge. We're like way back up on the road, so. Might maybe be a longer wait than two, three it. hours. <gasps> no. Looks like it, dude. It's not even moving. Ben? See, I can't. Okay, one then. Oh, you're just doing an inspection. Okay. <laughs> Are you watching PewDiePie? What? You watching PewDiePie? Uh, it's uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Ah. Okay, hasta luego. Enjoy your Fortnite. <laughs> Sub to PewDiePie. <laughs> And here are the entrepreneurs, ready to sell some services. <laughs> no gracias, no necesito gracias. So this is probably us for the next hour here. At least we got that data to burn, baby. Yeah, we're gonna finish off the last remaining datos in Mexico. Their favorite tuber. <laughs> hey, gracias, amigo. Gracias. Well, I've I wanted one of these. Yeah, really most. And every market we go to, I'm like, oh, should I get it? I'll get it on the way out. <laughs> it's just I like, feel like most people driving by would be like, why would that guy sell these hanging seats? Yeah. Who's gonna buy that? Me. Because I wanted one. I think it'd be really. Funny I think that was a great office. price too. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Super bad timing. We are three cars ahead. The dog started freaking out. He's got to pee. So hopefully the uh, Alicia doesn't mind. I know they're pretty strict. Afternoon, sir. Not too bad. It's been a bit of a wait. Yeah? Yeah. How long were we all in line for? Four hours. Four hours. Wow. How do you pronounce your name? Amen. 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 Enjoy those apples. They're delicious. Um, you have to no, I know. <laughs> Take care. Welcome to Texas. Oh, wow. Where the signs, the drinks, 
and the gas stations are all grande. <laughs> tour guide for the day, Maria Jose. Welcome to yeah, this beautiful sorry. Airbnb here Thank in San you. Antonio, Texas. This is our living room. Ooh. We have shared amazing, amazing stories. This is our table. We have shared amazing, amazing food. Of course, like always, the kitchen where Emily and Beck has been cooking every single day. That's not bad. true, arepas. Oh uh, yeah, well, I guess I can help. <laughs> help. We were invited by Aaron and Aaron, two very sweet people living in San Antonio, to stay in their Airbnb. We are super grateful. So we've cooked up a really big meal to share with everybody. While we love living in our van, there is nothing quite like taking a minute to reset in a larger space. After months on the road, the luxuries of hot running water, a full bathroom, and this huge kitchen were not taken for granted. In fact, I think we finally managed to get the salt out of our hair, fingernails, and everywhere in between. Hi friends, we've made it to Austin, Texas. We had a bit of an early morning this morning. And we are currently in the one and only Mercedes Georgetown. This is a place that we've spent quite a bit of time. If you saw our last Mexico series, you would know we put a new motor in. I don't know if you guys remember this guy. <laughs> Big Rob, there he is. Yeah, we'll check you in a couple hours. All right, brother, take a walk. We wanted to get an oil change, get everything looked at from people we trust before we make the journey back to Canada. They're also hooking us up with a pretty sweet ride. We've got probably maybe two, three hours to kill. So we figured we would... Rojo, you've probably never been into a leather seat before, huh? Well, he's being so difficult this morning. Hi, buddy. I'm just constantly covered in mud. <laughs> As I think we said, we're taking him to the dog park and it rained heavy last night. We don't have a towel or anything and we're in that fancy car. This might be a disaster. Come on, buddy. Come say hi. You know, we learned the hard way about servicing our van not through Mercedes, and while it is more expensive, I think it's gonna, you know, add to the longevity of our vehicle. Well, wow, thanks for being blurry. Especially if you're in like a new town and you don't have someone that you recommend. Right. Like in Toronto, we're okay doing service. We got a guy. Right. But we if don't got we're... a guy here. Yeah, we don't got a guy. There are a lot of things I love about this car, but the fact that I can hit this switch and have AC, oh! So there's two reasons why we're in Austin, really. <laughs> One is to do the oil. Two is because we've been thinking about this for... A year. Last time we were in Texas, Christian and Aubrey introduced us to kimchi fries from Cilantro. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Great take care. Safe travel. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Hey, All right, let's go, buddy. Take care. Roll. Come on. A couple hours in, we made it to Bucky's. You guys don't know what Bucky's is. You've probably never driven through Texas. It is the largest gas station in the world. I'm just gonna say it. It's got hundreds of pumps. Literally, hundreds of pumps. Soft drink section is just out of control too, but I'm not doing soft drinks. We made it to the border of Texas and Arkansas. We're literally straight on the border, which is pretty good day's work. We burnt a full tank of gas. Becca forgot to look at the gas meter, which she does sometimes, and we are completely out. So, that's okay. It's pretty normal for him to get testy on a long day, so don't worry guys, I'm holding my ground. And we got some friends that we caught up to because they drive slow. <laughs> this is what happens when you get a dog, by the way. Your friends don't even say hi to you. They're only excited about the dog. In my world, I don't worry, darling. I just smile, cause you're by my side. And now your eyes open up every morning to 
the love. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on, all the way. Go. Okay. Bro's ready to go. Good morning, everybody. It is. Today Friday? It's Friday. So we're out of Texas, the massive state, and I'm gonna hit the road this morning. Eamon's gonna have a little nap. I am concerned about the energy level on this one. He only played for about half an hour outside. So maybe when we stop in an hour or two, we can find a dog park for him. Love the sun. I am two and a bit hours into this drive. Eamon is still sleeping. Rojo has finally chilled out. I was starting to feel super hungry, so I grabbed this peanut butter jar and I'm licking it <laughs> and using my finger. I've also taken off my sports bra because it was very uncomfortable. And I'm listening to Caitlin Bristow, the ex Bachelorette's recap of this past season because I didn't get to watch it. And I am embarrassed to admit that. So, you know, <laughs> just want to keep it real, folks. Just want to keep it real. These rest stop areas are really quite nice, actually. We parked right up by the park area. Rojo gets to chill. I've been throwing the little toy for him back and forth. He's very good at catch. And we've got room for our friends, our amigis. I realize that I often assume you guys know all of our friends or that you've seen our earlier videos. So in case you're new here or you've never met Chase and Maria, this is Tio Aventura. Hi, beautiful people on these beautiful people's <laughs> vlogs. This is Chase. Those are their two dogs. And this is their beautiful 44 foot long bus. They tow a Jeep at the back. Look at this beautiful woman. Oh my God. This is Maria Jose. Yay! <laughs> I was just saying, like, I often assume that everybody's seen our last videos, but maybe they've never seen your house before. Massive fridge, beautiful kitchen. You guys should watch our house swap video to see it all. They have a bathroom in here. It's pretty amazing. And last night, the four of us had the best movie night. All here, so much room on the bed with an amazing flat screen TV, so. The plan is to all drive to Nashville together. Maria and Chase lived in Nashville before moving into the bus, so they were already heading in that direction, and it's pretty much on the way to Toronto. So it's really great to have friends along the road, and while they go quite a bit slower, it just gives us time to make food for them. How's lunch, everybody? Everybody. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, I had a little piece of that bacon. Should I do good. Spanish for my vlog too? It's, yes. Yeah, please. Well, first of all, let's just plug to you, I'm sure if you guys are following them. Yeah. Why, why should they them. follow you, Amigi? Well, <laughs> I don't want to like brag about it, but I'm freaking cool. Yeah. yeah Agree. <laughs> so she just made me say it all in Spanish. So I've had pan y queso vegano y vegano. Oh, vegano, because it's an oh queso. Okay. Y tocino mm -hmm. y tomate. A aguacate y kale. Is kale kale? We don't have kale. You know what That's I would call it? Thing. I would call it lechuga de vegano. Si. Mm. Lechuga de vegano. More like um, mucho, mucho verde lechuga. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. like more, a more, lechuga. More, more nutritional lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is like that Life Light brand. It's so cheap and like decent, I would say. Oh, it's I don't, cheap? I don't think it's amazing, but it's it for like... It tastes like bologna. Yeah, on a sandwich it's delicious. No, I think it's good on a sandwich, yeah. yeah. I was craving something like this. I had to pee. We made it to Bucksnort, Tennessee. I don't know if anybody else has been to Bucksnort, but I don't blame you if you haven't. <laughs> Someone's excited! <laughs> Dog Park was a huge success. Ro must have made at least 10 new friends. He is covered in dirt and slobber. And that's just how we like our puppy, isn't it? <laughs> Did you get your push-ups in today? 
Yeah, I'm at uh, 70. Hey, sweet pea, you gotta go pee? Plan for the evening, babe? Well, we met this uh, crazy stalker here last year. <laughs> named Benny. And he's turned into a good friend of ours now. So we're gonna go for dinner with him. And maybe Gio Aventura. Wait, wait, grab the dog. What? Sorry, there's a no, car. No. The dog's like perfectly trained. Yeah. Actually, right. someone was sending me for Zach George just the other day. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna go for dinner tonight at a place called Gray's. We've been there before here in Nashville. Oh, Funny how like in a year's time you can become so much more comfortable with the states. Yeah. Like I didn't even know so many of the states last year. And now I'm like, ah, I've been know there. I was in Tennessee. There you go. I didn't even know Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, boys. Hi, friends. <laughs> Good morning, Rojo. Hello. Last night, we did go out for that dinner I told you about with our friends, and we've slept in their old backyard. They're now van lifers. They were our neighbors for the night. They have since left, and Eamon and I have made the executive decision that since we're only 12 hours away from home, we're gonna put in a big day here as opposed to getting up, and I think I wanted to go to a farmer's market and stuff. It's funny when you get in the rhythm of just getting up and driving, you just kind of want to get up and drive and get home. Right, Bill? Let's motor on, but not after my push-ups. God, you're looking so much better at those. And because we have such a long drive, I've taken Ro to the dog park again this morning. He had such a good time. He is so good at making friends. I think he's better than me. Hey, Ro. Ro, did you have did you have fun? Did you have fun out there? Yeah. You had some good times, huh? And Eamon stayed back and did the dishes and made breakfast, which is huge. Thank you. They were piling. I know. Because I get car sick when we drive, it's always more productive if I drive because Eamon can edit and work. So he's gonna you edit tomorrow's video. And I'm gonna drive and Rojo's gonna sleep. You'd think going down to one video a week would be all over it, but no, we're leaving it to last minute. Cheers, guys. <laughs> We are dropping temperatures fast, people. It's about eight degrees Celsius where we are near Detroit. We got the sniffles for dinner. Eamon's made us our mama's gnocchi soup from the cookbook. And it is so warming and healing. And it's hard to believe that just seven days ago we were complaining about the heat. This is Rojo's first exposure to rain and cold. He doesn't like it. You need to you need to go pee, baby. <laughs> he was just freaking out. He wanted to go out so badly. Bro, if you have to pee, you have to go out there. Come on, it's just some rain. Rose never waited outside. Oh, and anytime I open on, up the door, go. he jumps right out. Whoa. Come on, baby, you gotta go pee pee. No, he's gonna pee in the house. Bro, you have to go pee outside. <sighs> you sure are crazy. Oh, don't put your head in there. Don't put your head in there. Rojo, if you put your head in there, you get stuck. You ready to go pee, my love? Baby, back it up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, babe. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We've dried off, but the temperature is still dropping. It's reading 16 degrees inside the house. We've had to pull back our blanket we're gonna let Ro sleep under the covers probably tonight just to give us some warmth this is not what we had in mind when we said we were coming home for spring oh my god we are freaking out I don't know if we can live in this country or the next country <laughs> we seriously had that chat this morning like we can't settle in Canada it's way too cold dude it is freezing and this guy has just been out of control <laughs> why why can't you get in control <laughs> We've had two poos, one pee, breakfast, and we're going to a dog park. Because that's like literally the only thing we know how to do. Yeah. Good morning. Last day in the car. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be 
alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. After our wait time at the Mexico US border, rolling up to this doesn't seem all that bad. So maybe like 20 minute wait. You ever been to Canada? No. Morning. How many on board? Two people, one little dog. Okay. Where do you live? We live in Toronto. We just picked up at the duty free <clears throat> three bottles of Forty Creek. Choked up a little bit there. Huh? I know. <laughs> I love Canada. Uh, <clears throat> uh, just. Uh, <laughs> well, we don't drink alcohol, so I was like, uh. It's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, and I was gonna say for my dad, but I was like, I should probably just say it's for us. Welcome to Ontario. Ontario. entertained on these 12 hour drives and the truth is we like to tune into audiobooks so we're super excited to have audible sponsoring today's video because it's one of the ways we love staying informed getting good information and making the most of our time so if you guys are commuters or you're doing the dishes anything where you can't be watching and learning this is an amazing way to stay informed if you guys are interested in checking out audible we have a code for you you have 30 day free trial by using www.audible.com slash amen and beck or you can text Eamon and Beck to 500, 500 My recommendation, if you're interested, is to listen to the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss. We are both super interested in optimizing our work play balance. And I think Tim has a lot of really interesting points. After a three hour drive, we've arrived. We're at the street I grew up on. I'm very excited. There's like 10 oh, cars. Laura's here too, huh? Everyone's here. Oh, there's my sister. Where? She's waving. She's excited. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Pretty. Hi. This is I feel like I'm in like background of videos, but no one's ever really officially. Oh, I'm like Chris's mom. mom. This is my mom. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Good boy, Good boy Rose. One more, one more, Rose. Come on, one more. Yeah. Yeah. 